Hello, darlings. Happy bloody Thursday to all of you. Welcome to the Potter Project and welcome to the final part of the burrow. This is the final part of the burrow. It's been many, many weeks of intense building. <laughs> it really has, though. It's been it's been good. I've been really, really, really enjoying building this. I've always wanted to build the burrow in my own kind of form. And I've had such a good time doing it. I really have. So today we're going to be doing Molly and Arthur's bedroom and also Percy's bedroom as well. So that is the final two rooms of the house complete. Now, I will say the house won't be up on the gallery um, until I have done the creator sim video as well, where I'm going to be making all of the Weasleys. And I want to do a kind of a standalone video by itself where I kind of do a big tour of the whole place with the Weasleys inside. So just so it looks a little bit nice, I'm going to do that on its standalone video with the download link and everything kind of there for you, including all of the custom content that has been used as well. So that will be coming in the next couple of weeks. Um, but yes, that, yes, that's it. That's it. That's all I had to say. All I had to say. So without further ado, for the final time, let's get into the burrow. I'm also going to start building. So my dears, here we are back at the back at the burrow for the final bloody time this has been a good i've been enjoying this i really have i'm not going to do a tour of it or anything in this video i'm going to leave that as i said for a standalone video so today what we're concentrating on is doing molly and arthur's room here and also percy's bedroom here so percy p-shaped somebody noticed that i was like oh my god yes i was for it very much for it so molly and arthur's room um i see it being not too cluttered i would say maybe yeah maybe a few bits maybe a little bit over cluttered but i would imagine molly to be not massively tidy but she likes things kind of looking nice and in order and stuff so that's what we're gonna do now this was the perfect bed i've already got it on the swatch that i wanted because i kind of had a little play around with what bed i would see in for this room and i think this room here would be perfect i mean this bed here would be perfect for their room so i'm gonna do it i'm gonna flop that bed into there this little area here, I'm going to have like an area where Molly could sit down and do some knitting, get away from the kids for a bit. Um, I thought that would be nice in that bay window there. And then on this part here, I think I'm going to put a desk, like a working desk with Arthur's files and stuff on it. Maybe another place where they can come and escape all of the children that they've got um, and just have their own little space. I kind of liked that idea. So we're going to do it. We are going to do it. Now, I need to pre-warn you guys. If you hear drilling or banging at the minute, my neighbours are knocking down a wall and i'm trying to record so i'm just gonna have to try and ignore it so if you hear it in the background there you go that is the noises that has been happening um love that for me love that <laughs> for me but i can't say anything i can't say anything i would never can you imagine being a karen like that excuse me can you keep the noise down i know you're renovating your house but that's just not me loves that is just not me that would never be the case and I can't say anything because I've been doing exactly the same to my house for the last four years. So, you know, you've just got to, you've just got to let bygones be bygones. Is that the right terminology or phrase? It is now. It is now. And that is the way it stays. Yes, it is. Right. Can I get a little side table in the side here? Um, I might be able to put them in. Do they come in? And who are these? These are from Pierre Sim. Um, I might be able to use these. These look a little bit semi. Oh, no. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That colour wood, that's perfect. This is from Oak House, by the way. And then I can put them this way and then slot them right back there. And then those would fit in there perfectly. Take note, Sims team. This is the size of a uh, side table, not this. You know, look at the difference in that. For goodness. Okay. So I'm just going to get the bare bones down there. We'll do some more detailing on that in a minute. I just want to map out this room. And find a nice chair for Molly to sit in while she does her bits and bobs. I think Percy's room is going to be kind of easy to do because I want to make it look very neat, very ordered, no clutter anywhere. Um, just a desk, very quite a boring room actually. A bit like per bit like Percy himself. Never liked Percy in the books. I always found him really irritating and really pompous, and I fucking hate people like that. So, so he did not appeal to me in the slightest in any of the books, um, and especially when. Um, he was a bit of an arsehole in the last few, you know, I think you all know, I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but he was, he was an arsehole, he was an arsehole, 
Um, but he came around in the end, didn't he? Maybe I could put two chairs here. Like, maybe I could do one either side, but not do the matching. Maybe I could, oh, maybe I could change it to, like, a different, like, colour. Oh, yeah, that's cute. We'll do that. Just in case Arthur wants to sit down with his wife while she's doing a bit of knitting. You know? You don't know how it is. But I kind of like that idea for them. So I'm going to plop these in. Love these chairs, by the way. They are from the, um... The puffer head stuff pack. Yeah, they are. Puffer head stuff pack. Okay, I'm going to put a bookcase either side here. Um, and I'm probably going to use the ones from Realm of Magic. Because not only will they fit in here, I kind of like the um the colour of that wood in this room as well. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. But we will push it right back in there, darling. And the same on the other side here as well. We'll do the same there and flop you in there. Yes, we will. How are you all doing I hope you're all right. I really, really do. Um, I'm good. I am. I'm good. I'm doing well. Doing swell, actually. Um, I'm off to Cornwall tomorrow for Tom's birthday, so I'm very much looking forward to it. Cannot wait. So I will be pre-recording um, Design Me Devon as well. So if you see me in the same t-shirt tomorrow, I mean, you can wear a t-shirt twice if you want. You can wear it three times. But personally, I like to change my t-shirts. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to be pre-recording, so you'll probably notice me in the same top because I can't be asked to get change. Don't want to give you that illusion, you know? Yeah, we'll do that one there. Stunning. We'll detail that a bit more as well. Let me get the um, everything down first. So we're going to do a desk here. Can't really be a high-backed desk. Main reasons being I kind of want them to be able to look out the... Well, not look out the window, but at least have a bit of window showing you know if i did like a high backed one it would just cover the whole window and we don't want that especially not a desk that looks like that because you know my thoughts on that pack that pack should um just burn burn in hell as far as i'm concerned <laughs> so many people were like oh but i love knit knitting and i'm like well yeah but i don't i know that might be your opinion but i don't like it <laughs> so many people come to me and say that um i'm like i hate it why though i love it i'm like yeah, but i don't <laughs> That's my opinion. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, said with love, of course. But, um, <laughs> okay. Mm, do I want to do a wardrobe or shall I do a moment like this? I'm not going to sing. It's not a time for Kelly Clarkson, and nor Leona Lewis. But um, I'm going to maybe put both of these in here. Yeah. And then I can put a mirror, a mirror on that side then. That's a good idea. One second, I need to cough. There we are. Cough has been had. I'm all done. And during that cough, I um, pulled out this little object here and put it off to the side of the uh, the desk. Maybe that can have some files and stuff on it or maybe muggle artifacts. I would imagine he brings too much muggle stuff into his room considering he's got a whole workshop and stuff. But I may do little influences of things here and there. Maybe that typewriter. I could put a typewriter in here because it's in like a glass. Did I put that in there? I didn't see it anywhere, so I'm just going to put it up on top of here. Maybe Arthur is fascinated by that typewriter. Absolutely loves it. So he's, yeah, he's took it out um, of the workshop and put it in here. Oh, I like that. I like that vibe. So I pulled out these two here, obviously from Realm of Magic. I'm going to use a mirror on this side, but I think I'm going to use a freestanding one like this one here. Can I like match it in with that wood? Well, that's a bit different. That is a bit different, that. Um, I want to get a little pop of gold. Yeah, there we go. That one there. And I'm going to flop you into the corner and then pull you out so you're not going into the edge there. Stunning. I can't move the door because of the corridor. So maybe I should just turn it this way. Just slightly like that. Yes. And I would imagine they're too hung up on looks and stuff and what they're wearing and stuff. They're all about just love and family. Um... So I'm not going to do like a... Um, so they wouldn't be too bothered about mirrors and stuff. But I think it just looks nice. You know? It just looks nice. Yes, I, I'm liking this area. I am liking this room. I think it's cute. I think what I need to do is go in and pull out loads of objects. And we're going to start going around and putting in some details in this room. Okay, I've pulled out a few objects. Just a few. <laughs> We've lit this place. So what we're going to do is start placing them around now. Just stuff I think would look great. Um, that one over in that corner, but then I wanted some fresh flowers on the other side. I'm going to turn that candle to there, actually. Why is that flame 
not sitting right on that. Why is that? What was that about? Um, did I size that down? Maybe I did. Whoopsies. That was my own fault. Yes, I'll plop them two there. I've used this rug as well. Put it at a bit of a squiffy angle. Um, I want Molly's knitting stuff maybe just off to the side of the chair. So what I can do is plonk it round about there. I'm going to whiffle this in a little bit tighter. Filth. Into there. Like so. Let's tuck you in, sweetie. Make sure it's not cutting into anywhere. I mean, that can go right under there, actually, because the arm's not going to be tucking into it. Yes. Maybe this one up here with some flowers. And I might do like a little pile of books down here, actually. So let's go into clutter and find them. Um, Let's... Oh, no, these would look cute. Yeah, let's use these. Oh, there's a snap point there. I didn't even realize that. How cute is that? That's cute. But what I wanted was just something underneath of here. Excuse you. What's it doing? There we go. And then whiffle you up like that, darling. Oh, it's not right. Oh, it's all going wrong. We're just going to do it like that then. And then what I'm going to do is change the color of the one on top for like a... Yeah. Like that. Stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Round to this side, I want a desk. Which we've got one. There it is. <laughs> um, And what I'm going to do, photo of the Weasleys. Maybe when they're in Egypt. We're definitely still going to be doing photos of the Weasleys around the house as well. But obviously, I need to make the Weasley first. Weasley's first before I can do that. I'm going to plonk that down to there. I'm going to put that at a bit of an angle there on his actual desk himself with a quill for it. Um, I think a candelabra would look good on there as well, actually. So I'm going to go in and find a candelabra. Um, get rid of custom content and hide Maxis. Thank you. And then get a nut. Oh, is that a bit too much? I think that one's going to be a bit too much. It's not going to go up there anyway. But it's still going to be a bit too much. I was thinking more along the lines of this one. Yes, we'll use this one. And I'm going to flop you to the back there. Like so. That should not be floating. Oh, it is slightly. But it's magic. You know, it's magic. You just got to let them be. No, I will tool mod that down. Stunning. Okay. And then over to this area, I did want to add in... A little bird cage right by the window with some with some greenery there. Beautiful. And then on top here, I was thinking about adding this one here on top of this. Um, That is floating. That's floating too much, that one. So I'll move that down with the tool mod as well in a sec. Um, I bought some binoculars. Maybe like Molly allowed a few muggle things to be in here. And Arthur is fascinated with a binocular. So I bought them in. Obviously need to represent Gryffindor. So I've bought in some Gryffindor scarves. But they're going to sit through that really weird. So where can I put you instead? I mean, it doesn't really make sense there. What I'll do is I'll, move, I'll put it there. I'll put it there and I'll move this over slightly so it's not touching it. That's what we do. Can I do that? Let me see. Let me have a little goosey. Oh, we can look. Oh, it was like it's meant to be. It was like it was absolutely meant to be. Um, hat each... For Molly and Arthur, I reckon these were their wedding hats. These were their wedding hats. And um, that's the storyline and I'm sticking to it. So I'm going to flop their wedding hats here and there. Beautiful. And um, with some dried flowers up here. Oh no, was I, where was I going to put them? I don't like the shadow on that there. I do want to use them in here because I think they look great. Um, maybe one of their artifacts again from um, Egypt. We do know that they went on a little, a little trip to Egypt couple of those portraits there. Maybe ancestors of some description. Where can I put you? Can I put you on here? What I'm going to do actually is plonk you down. Get you off. Move you back. Can I move this one back? I can put it to the side like that. And then what I'll do is whiffle that into place like that. So they can both sit there lovely. Ah, oh, stunning. I'm absolutely for it. Oh god, the banging. The banging. Um, and I bought this little tray as well, but I don't know where. In fact, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it on top of one of these chairs and hope that it's not floating. It's floating. I will I will unfloat it. Um, are you floating? Yes, it's slightly floating. So I'll move that down with the tool mod as well. But yeah, I like it. This is a nice little bedroom, this one. Oh, I'm for it. I'm absolutely for it, darlings. So let me just move all this down with the tool mod. 
And then what we're going to do, we're going to go off and do Percy's room. The final room of the house. Okay, into Percy's room. So, I want the room to be kind of non-colour. I want it to be a little bit, not bland, because it's still got the warmth that the burrow brings. I just want everything to be in its very perfect place. Nothing out of line at all. Maybe a few little decorations here and there on the walls, like some pictures or something of Hogwarts, perhaps. But I just want it to be very, very, very Percy. Very Percy indeed. So, side table, probably give us something a little bit more that kind of vibe for Percy. That kind of matches in well with a the bed there. Yes, we'll do that. We'll do that. We will put a clock because he's always on time. Always on time as Percy. So I'm going to flop a clock next to the bed too. I might size that down actually so I can put a lamp on it as well. Yes. And then a lamp on the side. Do I want to... No, I probably want like a spotlight looking lamp really. Oh no, maybe not. We'll go for this like oil lamp looking one, I think. Onto the side here. Um, yes. Sorry if I seem distracted. I'm just concentrating on the banging noise in the background. I don't even know if it's going to pick up in my microphone, but my God. <laughs> my Lord. So yeah, apologies. I know I've apologized already, but I'm going to apologize again, loves. If you can hear banging, nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. Yes. Okay. And then I think this would make the perfect area for his desk. So I'm going to put a desk in this room. Um, and I think I'm going to do a high backed one in this room. I know it might swamp the windows, but he has got a window over this side as well. So it's not too, I'm not too worried about that. We'll use this one here for Percy. We'll use this one here for Percy. I think it'd be the perfect desk for Percy. Percy's perfect desk for perfect Percy. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I think we'll do it. I'm not going to do a chair on wheels, I don't think. I'm going to use the same one as what we used in there. And pop it there. Yes, I'm definitely feeling a candelabra in here. So I'm going to flop a candelabra in up on this desk here. And maybe just a quill off to the side. Very perfect. Very perfect indeed. Very perfect, per se. Um, do you have like... Oh yeah, just a plain one. Again... I don't want to do any more detail than that for Percy, I don't think. Not at all. I would imagine he loves to read and stuff, though, so we definitely need to get a bookcase in here. Wondering if I can fit in the this one here, but also be able to get in some kind of... Oh, we can. Yeah, I'll put this one on this side. Or shall I do it on that side? Shall I do it here or here? Because I still want to be able to get in some drawers as well. For his clothes and whatnot. No, do you know what? I think it was better on that side. We'll pop it on this side. And I'll give enough room there for maybe a chair for him to sit on. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit a chair there. But I'll try. Um, And a chest of drawers as well. Now, do I want to use the same chest of drawers as what I've used in Molly's? And office, office room, or do we want to go? Oh, no, we use this one, actually. Um, can we change the colour up on that a bit? Just go a little bit lighter. Is that a bit too light? That's a little bit too light. Oh, there we go. Stunning. And I'll change the colour of the, um, the bookcase as well, because the bookcase is a little bit off colour. Um, it's a little bit, it's a little bit ill. It's a bit ill. <laughs> no, it's a bit, um, it's a bit too orange in here oh they haven't got matching wood tones because why you know why i don't even need to say um yeah no that one there's fine actually i thought i was gonna hate that then but i don't actually mind using that lighter timber going with it it kind of it kind of blends in a better than the warmer one does you know like the warmer one sticks out a little bit too much for me whereas when you do that it kind of just blends it away that's my thought process and that is what is happening so what I want above here is maybe a mirror. Maybe a mirror where he comes and practices his speeches in front of. I can imagine Percy doing that, definitely. So I'm going to flop a mirror in the... I don't really like how it goes there. I'm going to put it there. I'm going to pop it there. And then I'm going to change the colour of this. Or oh, that one there. Yeah, stunning. Oh, for it. Absolutely for it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, and I think some portraits maybe a Gryffindor 
banner in here and maybe that would be the only kind of decoration he's got in his room actually rather than having portraits on the wall maybe just a Gryffindor banner oh I'm kind of feeling that yes yes I'm feeling it so I want to get a chair in here I do but I just don't think it's going to fit so maybe I should put a chair there maybe I could get just a real high wing back um using the custom content one actually um, where are you, love? Here you are, look. Isn't there one without the throw on? I'm sure there is. Oh, there it is. Maybe I could do this one here. Not in that colour. But maybe just a little bit more. Oh, that brown was perfect. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, there we go. Somewhere where he sits down and reflects. Oh, it's very Percy. Very Percy. Um, and what can I do here? Something needs to go there, and I don't know what. A broom. We'll put a broom there. I don't know if even Percy played Quidditch, but I'm sure he would have a broom at some point. So we'll put a broom on that side. And I think to finish off this room, I'm not going to do anything up there either. It's exactly how I would imagine Percy living. Quite plain and boring. Um, <laughs> I don't hate him. I just dislike him. <laughs> just dislike like him <laughs> and i think i'll do a plain um throw as well i mean a plain rug as well but i think these colors are all going to be a bit too much um what was that other one then that one there didn't look too bad yeah no that's fine yeah we'll use that yeah no cool i'm completely happy with our percy's room is that's very percy to me <laughs> I'm um, for it. I really, really am. This is still throwing me. This, this was throwing me. I need, we need to find a better bookcase. Um, so forget what I said about everything. Look at, oh, I'd like to use this. But then this is from the Gothic. Um, and I haven't used that throughout this whole house, I don't think. Did I? No, I didn't. I haven't used it in this house. So we won't use that. Um, what I want to do is get rid of custom content and maybe use that, this one here. Can you fit in here? You can. <gasps> That might be better, actually. Oh, I don't know if we can get a good swatch in, though. Let me see that. Oh, no, that's good. Yes, that's better. Yes, we'll use that one there and here. Oh, for it. Okay. Um, Or <laughs> I could size this one down. That's better. Yes, we'll use this one. That looks a little bit more, I don't know. It looks a little bit more... Oh, that's giving me space there for the chair now. Oh, we're going to do it, loves. We're going to do it. I'm going to flop that chair there instead. I'm going to move the broom. We're going to get rid of the broom. Percy doesn't want a broom. He said. He told me. Um, So I'm going to pop you down to like there. And then I'm going to do a small... Can we have that table that I've just used? Where are you? Where are you? Me? There you are. Can we use this one in here? Maybe in a different colour. Do you have a darker, plainer tone? There we go. Fab. And I'll pop you up there. And what I'm going to do is maybe put on the same lamp as what we've used in here as well. But maybe just put it in a... I don't know if this colour will look okay in here. If it does, we'll use it. Oh, it does. Yes. Oh, that's better. That space is much better. Okay. My lord, my loves, we are done. I'm not going to go through or tour it, as I said, because I really want to do a full tour video of it. But we are done. I'll do a quick pan around of the finished product. The burrow is complete. Oh, I'm for it. This is going to be so cool for gameplay. I'm definitely going to be playing for a few hours with the Weasleys. Um, mainly to get recorded, but I just want to see how this plays out. And obviously, I need to play a test it. So... Yes, we are done with the burrow. So there we have it, my loves. The burrow is complete. I cannot believe it. We're done. We are done. I'll be back next week with the creator sim of the Weasleys. I'm going to do a quick overview of the creator sim um, process that I'm going to be doing for these characters. So expect that sometime next week. Um, and also just give me a couple weeks to get the video and the overview and the download links together before this burrow is available for you guys. But I'm going to leave you now. 
Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with Design Me Devon. Um, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.